Hey everyone, welcome back to Ravenport and episode 28 of this Let's Play series. So we're currently just in the process of harvesting uh, soybeans upon fields 14 and 15. And we also have our corn in field 18 is ready to harvest as well and I've taken on a contract on field 10 as a fairly small harvesting job which we'll also get done while we're up this side of the map. So in the previous episode we was uh, basically playing around with the GPS mod and doing some fertilising on this map, uh, well on this map, on this field. We've got some fertiliser sprayed on this as well as field 18. I have advanced a little bit further time than I intended to as I was doing a little bit of work off camera uh, before this episode and I was advancing the time and I was in the menus looking at the animals just checking those over and I'd forgot I'd left it on times 120 and it by the time I'd come out the menu it skipped quite a bit further than I uh, intended so these fields which originally probably wouldn't have been ready to harvest in this episode are so we thought get them doing and we're just going to take these straight over to the sell point and sell the crops Okay, so I've done pretty much two trips around the headlands. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just leave a worker on this for a little bit and we're going to go over to here. As we've got a worker, well we had a worker on field 11 doing a contract fertilising which is now finished. So we can collect the money for that. I don't think, oh, there's a few more fertilising jobs but I don't think there's any possibly worth doing. Um, so we've got this one on field 10 which is not far from where we are so I thought while we were up here we could do the contract on field 10. Um, so let's just check that again. What's close by? Field 12 harvesting, field 2 which is quite far away. Uh, well, we've got 2 and 3 we could possibly do so we'll accept those. Um, because they're right next to each other. So we'll do those contracts. I'll get the this over to those fields and get the work started on doing those. And that'll give us a little bit of extra money. I really I want to get that new seed drill, the 9 meter one, as I mentioned before. I was trying to get the raise the money to get that and get the new tractor as well. Because it feels 19 and 23, I said I was going to get done and I haven't got round to it. As I said before, I've spent so much time on Marwell. Um, I've not been on this map at all to do any work off camera or anything, apart from a little bit before I started recording earlier, just to get ready for this episode. So we'll sell all the soybeans off 14 and 15 straight away uh, we do have quite a bit of wool to sell uh, but the price is not great at the moment uh, the same with the eggs as well i think i've moved another two full pallets that we got um, of eggs uh, but the price is it's not too bad but it's not as good as it could be so we'll look at how um selling those soon we've got two horses already on the next in-game day we'll have two horses ready so that will be a hundred thousand dollars from those and then we'll have um, every in-game day after that for I think it's eight days we've got eight horses no because we're doing two at a time so it'll be four days so we should have uh, the four hundred thousand dollars over the next four in-game days coming from the horses I do want to try as well as replace the horse paddock with the larger one but the issue with that is we've filled the food up and there's no way of emptying it so we will lose quite a bit of money's worth of oats I think oats are what about $1500 per thousand litres and we've got 27,000 litres in so that's quite a bit uh, we'd lose out on that so may leave that until the the actual trough is empty of food and then replace that 
So this is field one and two. I should know that because I spent quite enough, quite a lot of time on the Ravenport tile up series, although it looks vastly different. So what we'll do, we'll set a worker off on this, and we can go and check on our combine. So 72% full. So no need to worry about unloading that yet. I was having a look at the pigs and at, currently at the moment we're getting around I think it's 12 pigs per day um, across the two so we're up to 43 now I was working out um, when I was editing the video before last I think it was when we did the sugar beets um, I think we put around about 54,000 litres of sugar beets in and I worked that out on the current price was that was twenty seven thousand dollars worth of sugar beets we put in for ten days worth of food. Um, as you can see now, I've topped it up a bit, so we're up to sixty seven, um, sixty five thousand liters. So I, I worked out the the food based on filling up at that point, which is around about fifty four thousand liters for all of the food types. And I worked it out to $202,000 worth of food for 10 days for the pigs. So that would mean you'd need at least the 12 pigs per day, because pigs only sell for $1,000, just to cover the cost of your food. So at the end of the, that, after selling the pigs, if you only got 12 per day, um, that's 120 pigs that's only 120 um thousand dollars uh, so you're basically losing over a hundred thousand dollars worth um if you sold the crop instead of feeding it the pigs um so yeah i really just think pigs might not be actually making us any money um I, I say as these increase, obviously the reproduction rate is going to reduce a little bit. But we need at least 22 pigs per day to just cover the cost of the food. And that's based on the the food cost at, um, I think it was around about 60 pigs we had at the time. So obviously now if you work that out, we've got 40, um, 86 pigs in there. You can see now that the sugar beets, they require a lot more food. So that cost of the food then is going to be a hell of a lot more. So I really, at this point, especially on easy mode, if you're playing on hard mode where the crop prices are a lot, lot lower, because uh, pigs sell for the same price no matter what difficulty, they're $1,000, whatever you want the easy, normal or hard economy. Um, yeah, I really just don't think pigs can make you money. <laughs> I'm just, I may be completely wrong. If anybody has done pigs, um, let me know if you've ever actually properly worked it out. I definitely think adding root crops for all the work you go through for that extra 5% is really not worth it. I don't think that extra 5% productivity rate um really covers the cost of what you could sell the sugar beets or potatoes for um so i really don't think it's worth feeding them that and you're better off probably leaving that out um especially for the others go for the cheapest crop so canola is the cheapest out of the protein so soybeans sunflowers canola um our combine is four um so we'll just get this emptied so yeah um I think barley is generally cheaper and a higher yielding crop than, um, no, is it wheat? Wheat is the cheap one, no, I can't remember which way around. I think it generally wheat or barley, whichever one's the cheap one, is probably the better one for those to feed them because you get a lot more feed for less money. Um, so yeah, at the moment, I've... I'm almost kind of tempted to try pig food. Um, not top up any of the pig's feed at all. 
and let it run down and then buy pig food and kind of see how much it costs to fill up the pig f um, fill up the trough from pig food for 10 days and see what that works out to whether it works out cheaper than selling the crops because <laughs> at the moment uh, we at the current reproduction rate over 10 days for how much food we've put in we are not going to make money off the pigs well we are going to make money off the pigs but we'll have made more if we would just directly sold all the crops that we've put in for feed um, so yeah really uh, I say if anybody has done pigs properly I've generally never usually do pigs um, I'm not sure why it was just one of those things I just never, never actually did on the, um, 17 I think it was probably the fact that I was never actually sure whether they were profitable I know you do get them in Neo and Slurry as well um, which obviously then saves you a little bit of money on fertiliser but the manure, especially the slurry, doesn't go very far at all um, I think I used on the Felsburn time lapse series on the little grass field I used around about nearly 60,000 litres of slurry just to fertilise that field which seems a little bit excessive so you probably one of those things as well I probably think you may be better off investing in the BGA and just selling all your slurry and manure at the BGA and then just using the digestate for fertiliser because obviously when you sell the manure you're going to get digestate as well as from the slurry uh, so yeah please do let me know if you've done pigs whether we are actually going to make any money because at the moment I've not you know sat down and fully worked it out but yeah they don't seem like we're going to make any profit from them in what we could have earned from selling the crops okay so our trailer's nearly full so I just want to try and catch the combine and fill the trailer up I'm not sure if the work is going to carry on from this point uh, we'll have a look at the price and take this over to wherever's got the best price to sell it That's 21,000 litres in there. So I've just swapped the worker over to the next field so we can actually complete that contract on field two. So oh, I keep coming in there, <laughs> new apologies. So the best price currently for soybeans is the pork grain elevator, which is still going up and is a whopping $2,941 which is actually quite impressive um, we're not going to get a huge amount more off this field uh, definitely not going to get another full trailer there's not much left to do on it so we'll head over to the pork grain elevator and sell this load and see how much money we've got okay so we just coming up to the pork grain elevator I've gone in completely the wrong way so hopefully the train doesn't come uh, a bit bumpy over there and also we're probably going to struggle to get in here uh, just about <laughs> I completely took the wrong turn in and ended up coming in the wrong way but we made it so 21,000 litres of soybeans which should give us over 60 oh is it going to be 60,000 just under That's $61,814. If only we had a field, like field 8 full of soybeans, we'd make an absolute fortune. Uh, but $61,000 off one trailer load is not too bad at all. So that's got us up to $139,000, which I think is enough to be able to afford the seed. Uh, as I mentioned before, the only trouble with that is... Uh, we need the bigger tractor with a higher horsepower to be able to pull it. Um, so we may have to look at increasing our loan a little bit so we can afford to buy that. Okay, so back over at 14 and 15. Uh, what I've done, I've left the the Magnum with the trailer over by field 12. I've accepted the contract um, harvesting that field. 
as well as doing 10. Um, so I've left the tr truck and uh, the truck track and tractor and trailer over there rather than bring it back over here. So we'll do that one next. The fertilising contractor is now finished as well, so we can complete that one. So we've just got this little bit left to finish off here, so we probably enough thousand litres or so. So not a huge amount at all. So we'll get this one finished. So we'll head over to field 12, which it's a it's not a huge field but it's a decent sized field and our combine is a little bit small so it's going to take a while to actually do but what I'll do is um, probably leave a worker on to do most of it what I'll need to do is get down to field 19 and look again that planted with soybeans um, sunflowers I said we was going to do in that one um, so we can use the 6 meter planter for that so I'll get the the maxim back from doing the fertilising contracts down to the farm and then we can look at getting that one planted. Okay, so we're in the maxim back down at the farm. Uh, what we're going to do first actually is put the dual wheels on because this tractor doesn't like that big cedar very much. So we just go over to our workshop or we'll repair our weight while we're there for like three dollars let's take that off um, I really do wish they'd put an option in when you go into the workshop menu that you can scroll through any implements vehicles that are within the trigger area so we customize that and we'll put on twin wheels all around oh, we'll keep that uh, front weight we don't need because we'll have the seed hopper on the front so we need to open this one uh, should do um, so we'll do some flows in 19 so the front hopper is full uh, we do need to look at doing some Uh, grass work, getting some grass sorted for the horses or hay and for the sheep. So uh, this is the one when you can't actually fill up. From I can put fertilizer in, but not seed. Right. So we need to do the unload the front tank. And then fill up the rear one. It's a bit stupid the way they go around doing this, but it's a bit easier. Um, the problem we've got, as I mentioned before, with that refill point is um, even though you can do seed fertilizer and lime from it when you've got an implement that takes seed and fertilizer for some reason it will not let you get seed it won't let you select between the two it'll only do fertilizer uh, I'm not sure why which is a little bit annoying um, I had the same problem on the Felsman time lapse so I put the new refill point in which I thought looked a little bit a little bit better as it's not so big and having all the huge silos all over the place um, only then realize the seed drill we've got I've just lowered down the wrong section the seed drill we've got on um, on the Felsman time-lapse um, does both seed and fertilizer so it wouldn't let me fill up the seed um, or it did let me fill up the seed the first time I can't remember which way around it was so then I I put in a fertiliser silo next to it and um, when I was recording the episode earlier I could only do fertiliser from both of them 
so I couldn't actually fill up the seed at all which is rather annoying so I'm going to have to change those, those over again and have separate ones uh, it works fine if it's like the lime spreader where you're doing it's usually empty but you're only filling up one thing um, so if we set our B line we need to do the auto width um, hopefully that's set right so I've got the updated version of GPS from what I was using in the previous episode um, I don't know what changes there are I know they changed the colour of the outer lines were blue I've now changed those to orange um, I'm not sure if there was an issue people were complaining about saying the blue was too difficult to see I'm not sure on that one <laughs> I presume there's been other tweaks and adjustments to it as well but I didn't quite read through the change log for that Um, I have also updated my course play and I do have it enabled now on Marwell Manor Farm I've not tried it on this map um, and I haven't tried it on the other two time lapses yet to see whether it will actually save the game so hopefully I can get that working on Marwell Manor because that field 18 is absolutely huge and takes forever I think it took in total to plow the two fields using the Lemkin uh, plow I think I put around about six hours on the Massa Ferguson and doing those well, I didn't do them myself it was a worker doing it well, it just gives you an idea of how big those fields actually are it takes six hours to plow with a 4.9 meter plow so course play would be handy for that because then you can set up the course and you know you're going to probably get about 90% 95% of it done and then you're only going to have to go up a little bit where it usually misses on the turning on the headlands okay so we've got this little bit up here to finish off on this field and then just go around the headlands and tidy that up a little bit is that one of the things that's missing from the GPS is the auto um, being able to set the distance for stopping at the end of the headland or the end of the field uh, so it does stop automatically when you've got the cruise control on but it, I don't know what determines the actual distance it stops at so sometimes it stops a little bit shorter than it does other times um, so we just need to go around tidy those up and we'll get this one finished off. Yeah, it combines 50% full so it's going to be a while before that's needs unloading. I don't think we're going to get another full combine off that field so that contract's probably not going to be far off being finished as well. Uh, well I'll probably do the contract on field 10 I'll probably do off camera because not going to get time to do it in this video um, I've completely messed up with my timer so I'm not sure how long I've been well I know how long I've been recording for but I don't know how long the certain sections of the video add up to so so we'll go back around this way and then finish off down in that far corner and then what I'll do is I'll go and get field 12 finished off uh, we'll get the grain over to where it needs to go and then sell off what's left of ours um, over at the port grain elevator so that's still got the highest price so it's 80% full now so by the time I finish this and got over there we should be ready to unload it ok so I've just unloaded the combine as much as I possibly could to fill up the trailer uh, that's one other thing we could really do with is just a slightly bigger trailer we don't need anything like huge uh, but one that's just a little bit bigger would be nice just to cut down on the trips uh, especially now we're getting some slightly bigger fields and more of them
So what we'll do, we'll uh, deliver this, see what percentage um, of the contract delivered is from this load. Uh, give us a rough idea of how much more we need to take there. And how much we're going to have left for ourselves. As one other thing I want to get a, another tractor is this, as much as I like this case it is a little bit slow. Uh, we could actually increase the horsepower. I didn't realise that this one goes up to I think it goes up to around about 270 uh, fully upgraded. I didn't realise it went up that high. Uh, but it's still not enough to pull the horse pronto. So we'll deliver this and see what we get for percentage transported. I should imagine it's going to be quite high because it's well, it's so 67%. So we're going to have 33% off that to go. So that's another 9,000 or so litres, I think. Uh, the combine's got nearly 8,000 litres in, so probably the next combine load should be enough to complete that contract. Then what's left on the field then will be ours, and we'll take it to the place with the highest point uh, price point at this time. Which is probably still the port grain elevator. Okay, so we're just doing the last little bits on field 12. We've delivered enough grain now that we've actually completed the contract, so everything we get um, from this last little bit will be ours to sell and the port grain elevator still is the best price at $2,900 so we've got nearly $15,000 worth in the combine and then what we get for this last pass down here I don't think we've got anything in the trailer I think I left it empty from the last little bit of work today roughly from the first delivery around about 9,000 odd litres so I took just under 10,000 litres over which was enough to get 100% crop delivered and then it was a case of just finishing off harvesting enough of the field so I'm pretty sure the trail is empty so probably going to get around about 8,000 litres yeah it's definitely nothing in there uh, which is going to be around about 24,000 so it's not going to be bad and then plus the contract how much is the contract actually worth actually we can complete the contract no it will, the crop will disappear if I complete the contract uh, we've got uh, fertilizing field free to collect as well so we've got another 8,081 to come on top and then I'll I'll get field 10 done which is to say it's not a huge amount um, I'll get that one done but we're up to 142 so if we get field 10 say we'll get around about 10,000 with the extra crop off that one so that's going to take us up to 152 and if we get probably around about 20 looking at this not quite as much as I thought we'll probably get around about $20,000 off this so that should take us up to 172 yeah so it should be around about 180000 after finishing these contracts so when the, with the horses that will take us up to around about 270000 so we're only about $100,000 short of getting our new uh, tractor and seed drill. So we'll probably do, knowing that we've got those horses coming in over the next few game days, we'll increase our loon a little bit. We should have some pigs to sell soon as well.
So uh, we've got plenty of eggs and more. So as soon as the price is decent on those, we can take those. I think I worked out, we've got nearly $70,000 worth of eggs. Um, and that was a, a slightly lower price. So yeah, getting that money is not going to be um, much of a problem. So we get that pipe in and get that switched off. So what I've been thinking is we're up to episode 28 now. Um, I'm going to continue this let's play obviously for a while. So we need to head to the pork grain elevator. which uh, We'll go this way. Um, I was kind of thinking about what to do, like when we're going to finish this. Um, as I said before, I was planning on doing Marwell, uh, but I thought that'd best be for a time lapse. Uh, when Felsburn time lapse series finishes, I'll just continue with Marwell Manor Farm and Ravenport. Um, just continue with those two um, until another map comes out that looks suitable for a time lapse series. Um, and then I'll start that one and then continue with Marwell Manor Farm and the new one um, once the Ravenport one finishes. Uh, I should have gone that way. Would have been quicker. Quick. Hopefully the train's not coming. I didn't do that right. Um, yeah, so really, I don't really want to do more than two time lapses, but. It's one of those things with the new map coming out is it, if you leave it too long um, people aren't going to be interested in it when you do come to do it and then I'm going to miss out playing on a map I really want to play on myself um, and I don't really play farm sim at all um, off camera like for myself uh, pretty much the only time I play it is when I'm recording videos or doing a little bit of work off camera between episodes so I don't really play it so it's one of those, if I didn't start Marwell straight away, when I did come to do it, everyone's probably already seen enough of it from other channels that they've got no interest in it, then I'll miss out on a map I really want to play on. So, that's the reason why I wanted to start it straight away. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to be one of those channels that just drops the series, oh, there's a new map, let's move to that and... The series you're currently on just doesn't end <laughs> there's no like sort of end to it so I've been having a kind of think about what I want to try and achieve on this let's play before we do move on or finish this one um, now there is the possibility I may start another let's play before this one finishes depending on maps and <laughs> when they come out um, at the moment there's no other maps that have been released on the mod hub that I've got really much interest in at the moment other than Marwell Manor Farm the other ones I had a look around Grizzly Mountain obviously a forestry map which I'm not I don't mind forestry it's not saying I don't enjoy it um, but yeah I'd rather do a a map that's more towards farming than solely forestry um, and the other couple of maps that came out I had a good look around those and I've I just didn't really take to them much. I didn't really uh, have a good feeling about them. I'm not saying they're bad maps or anything. I just... <laughs> I'm a bit particular about maps. I, I usually find out within like the first 10, 15 minutes looking around whether I'm going to like a map. And yeah, really didn't do it for me for those ones. Um, so in terms of what I want to achieve on this one, obviously we've got the the pigs we've got sheep we've got horses on this we've got chickens um, I would like to try and purchase 16 17 uh, fields 21 20 and 22 and um, just concentrate on those sort of fields for this farm because um, I'm going to be working on the bigger fields on the Ravenport time lapse series so I think if we can buy those five areas of land uh, with those fields as part of like before we finish also paying off the loan as well as another one I always try and, and do so our current loan is $715,000 
So that will need fully paying off. Um, and I do want to buy those fields as well at least uh, before we finish. Uh, so if anybody's got any other suggestions on things you'd like to see me try and achieve before we do finish on this series then let me know in the comments section I, as I mentioned earlier in the video I do want to um, change this um, the horse paddock to the large one so that's one thing I want to try and do is replace that I am also thinking about replacing the sheep pasture to the larger one now we've got the mod where we can have these larger wool pallets so we're not having so many pallets to deal with so these ones are look like they're all filling up randomly rather than just filling one at a time um, so let's check the actual wall see what it's saying so it's saying 1597 litres in whichever one it's filling so I'll probably leave all those until it's completely full um, with these new pallets now I'm not so worried about having more sheep because the concern was you can see how many pallets we've got here is if you've got 200 odd sheep you're going to be moving a pallet every two minutes <laughs> it's just, like, just crazy amount um, so I would like to change that over as well for the large um, sheep pasture and also replace these two chicken coops with one large one um, as well so we've got those down here um, I do as I said before want to continue doing this area as much as I like this shed and this workshop I don't like them enough for this map I'd rather change those for something that kind of has a bit more of a US feel to them um, and as I've said in one of the other episodes as well about um, extending this back as far as we can so utilize this space which at the moment is not being used for anything so that's kind of a few things I'd like to try and get done down this area um, and we've still got the pig farm to finish if we just go up here so I've still got the terraforming I want to get finished around here and get that shed up as well um, just as a storage shed and get all this tidied up so there's those few things I want to get done before we finish as well um, as for the pigs I really don't know say at the moment they're not going to make us any money we're going to actually lose we could have sold the crop for a lot more profit um, maybe if I'd have got all one type 83 pigs of one type the reproduction rate might be a hell of a lot more uh, than it currently is than having 43 of one type so I think when we do come to sell some we'll sell just one type until we've sold off all of that one colour and then we've just got solely black and white or white um, see if that makes a difference and then try some pig food um, possibly put one of the pig food silos in and fill the trailer up see how much it costs to fill the trailer up and then tip it in and see how much it fills the food up because <laughs> I do want to make money out of them and uh, it's another thing as well if we do start making a decent amount of money we could look at Um, possibly getting a bigger pig, pig pen I uh, don't know <laughs> we'll, 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 uh, we'll come to that when we um, work out whether that are actually worth doing any more work on the pigs whether we're actually going to make any money off. if not then it might be cut our losses uh, sell them all off uh, sell the the enclosure and um, possibly get some cows on this map at the moment I'm not planning on getting cows because we've got the pigs the sheep and the horses and chickens and I'm doing cows on the, pretty much every other map I'm doing at the moment so I would leave cows on this one um, but again it's one of those things we'll, we'll see how it goes so if you do have any suggestions on things you'd like to see achieved before we move on then please do let me know um, and I'm going to leave this episode here Again, apologies if it's way too long, <laughs> which I imagine it probably is. Uh, so I'll do a better job of keeping my timer sorted out so I know how long I've been actually recording for. So if you do have any questions, comments, or say suggestions, then please do leave it down in the comment section. 
If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got new Farm Simulator 19 videos every day. And apologies for the noise in the background. That's my little dog uh, being annoying. And if you did enjoy the video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.